So my name is Missy Ponder Reston, and I am Zinnia Reston's mom, who attended the Seattle Science Foundation internship last summer. Um, I'm Zinnia Reston, I'm a senior at the Bush School, and I was here last summer for the three-week summer research internship. So at Zinnia School, her college counseling sent out a database of things to do over the summer, and uh, it was categorized, if it was in the arts or the sciences, um, you want to work with animals and things of that nature, and so we kind of just perused through and looked into the science component and research, and Seattle Science Foundation popped up, and we kind of just did some exploration, and it looked really, really interesting. And so we went down the rabbit hole and, and I reached out to someone via email, I forgot who it was at the time, and um, they kind of explained what was happening, the mini med school, the research component, um, and then kind of talked with her and she was like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And so then she, we just, we, she wasn't 100% sure what really was gonna happen. Um, and that was kind of the, I think the adventure of it as well. You know, knowing it was gonna be research based, you know, in this program, but, yeah. Well, I kind of knew since 10th grade. I was in 10th grade chemistry, and I really loved chemistry, so as of now, I'm majoring in chemistry, and I went into the summer last year wanting to do something with research, and the medical field was something I was really interested in and exploring how, like, chemistry and just my interest in the sciences, like, applied to the medical world, and this was a really great opportunity where I did get to, like, experience being with doctors, but also do my own research. So it was really amazing. I'm really happy I got the opportunity. Um, I would say the research aspect of it because we really got so many resources from not just um, Dr. Pierre, who's a neurosurgical fellow, but just other doctors that were willing to work with us and just the guidance on how to navigate medical databases and read lab results and really put like, get instruction on how to put together a concise lab uh, research report and then getting guidance on how to report it as well to other um, colleagues is really my favorite part. I definitely think that there are things that I've always struggled a little bit with public speaking and having that guidance to be confident in my work and having the like guidance to put together work that I know is accurate and I know I'm confident to talk about was really beneficial because I know things like that will come to me in the future but also understanding how to do like reports and read results are really important too because I feel like a lot of times in college and like the future world you have to like figure out things by yourself so it was kind of like another step to feeling really confident moving forward after high school. The first day uh, she came home um she, got, she was tested in a lot of ways in the beginning because of the cadaver work, and that was something she wasn't certain that that was gonna occur. And so the cadaver work happened on the very first day. And there was also a component of being a teenager and meeting other teenagers and feeling um, like, wow, these teenagers are really, really incredibly smart and just questioning your own self and where are you and like, and like, do I belong here? And so she was having a lot of emotions about that first day. And you know, her father and I are like, you know, we don't quit. That's kind of our thing, but at the same time, let your let your leaders know if the cadaver work is just making you feel super uneasy. Like, let them know, and there's going to be another way around it. You know, they're not going to like you know torture you in any way. So the first day really stretched her out of her comfort zones in a lot of ways, and then she went back the next day, and then it just started every day started to get better and better and better and she just started to come home really excited, talking about coming up with subject matter, talking about what they were talking about, talking about her peers and her friends, and then slowly realizing that her friends were also just as nervous as she was that first day. They were also very intimidated, and they, she started to learn this about herself and her friends throughout those three weeks, and I thought that was really special, and it just it just stretched her in a way, and she matured like so quickly. Three weeks, it was just like different human, different kid, and it was just really special for us as parents to just watch that occur. Because it happens in other things, you know, in other kids' life, like in sports and um, other classes and such, but this was just such a different world of academia and working with all the physicians. Um, she would come home and talk about all the different doctors that would come and present and how they motivated her. And so she was just super communicative with us about this happened today, and then she got better with cadaver work, and then all of a sudden she was fusing spines together, and it was just, you know, it was pretty it was pretty incredible to watch her growth. It was amazing. Yeah, I mean, I think that the first day kind of freaked me out, because obviously I've never experienced, like, seeing, like, someone that's deceased, and then, like, 
cutting them open to like work on like understanding anatomy and the body but I think that as time passed I knew that I would experience it again and then I kind of just took it as approach that like these people like this is what their bodies are for is for us to learn and for the future of medicine to develop and also I'm looking at the spine which I have in my own body and I'll never be able to see my spine but I'm looking at the inner work inner workings of it how it functions and once I kind of like took a step back and looked at it from like a really kind of like not so focused on the like aspect of it being someone who is no longer like living but like from like a medical and like educational standpoint I actually really enjoyed it and it was really cool and I yeah I used like I put in spinal screws and like C3 in like one of our cadaver labs and it was awesome. I loved it. At least they're hitting you up with heads. Yeah, yes. yeah. That was the yeah. neurosurgeon came in with the head, just the head, and that was really jarring. But <laughs> I mean, I'm very happy with how I ended up with working with the cadavers. Um, I was kind of like lost because in some ways, like I kind of took this internship as like an opportunity for the first time to jump into the medical world where some of my peers had like been involved in like previous medical explorations or like knew more about medicine so some of them had topics like right away and for me I kind of struggled but I really like I said I really like chemistry and I love chemistry so I kind of came at it from a more like chemistry approach in some way so I ended up researching um like monitoring for people under general anesthesia and like monitoring their like brain waves and understanding like what's conscious and unconscious and like kind of like the chemistry took a turn and became more technological in some way of just like understanding what makes someone like wake up during surgery and like why does that happen and I kind of landed on that topic through I did a lot of just like digging around on PubMed which was like our main research source and kind of like came across it and then I like did more research and it was really interesting and I thought it kind of applied to things that I could see myself being involved in like I really always like like anesthesia and being an anesthesiologist resonates with me more than being like a surgeon so that's kind of why I chose that topic. I mean, I just think that this was a really great opportunity for me to like discover a part of myself and like things that I'm interested in with that I've never explored and it kind of get, gave me that opportunity. Like, I don't know how else I would have uncovered this part of myself and uncovered these interests of mine. Like, I don't think I could have done it through like sitting at home and like researching. It really like the hands-on being with doctors like really led me to like enjoy this. And I think like moving forward, I still have a lot to understand about what I actually want to do in my future, but this is something that's like very much inspired me. And even if like we didn't look at it, like I still think that medicine is so impactful and necessary and being a part of like the continuation of and like advancement of medicine is something I'm really interested in. You can feel very special being a part of. And so she she's headed to Boston University and for her freshman year as a chemistry major. And so I would say in the college application process, having this, this experience was also really meaningful because it gave her a lot of serious topics that she could share on paper about herself and her growth and her, you know, things that were just really interesting to her. And so it just, I don't know, it just gave this really fantastic side to her applications. And so those were some of her best essays were about this experience here too. Can I tell you a really interesting story? Yeah. So her uncle who lives in Florida, he called us a couple weeks ago and he said, I've got to have this spinal surgery. They're going to go in and replace a disc. And everyone's like, what? And Zinnia was like, I know exactly what you're talking about. I watched that occur in my internship um, on one of the early mornings. I forgot the surgeon. Yeah. We were one of the weekends what's really special is like since the seattle science foundation even during the like internship is involved with like other things going on in the world we actually got invited over the weekend to go to a spinal conference where spinal surgeons and neurosurgeons all over the like country and like i think all over the world too came and joined together and they like did presentations on like their surgical methods and then we did like cadaver labs. There was just like cadavers all around the room and people were testing out like their medical approaches and like their new technology and like teaching other like fellows. And um, 
Yeah, one of them was replacing a disc. There was quite a few um, presentations about replacing a disc. I think that there was like a cadaver where you could take out a disc. And so, yeah, when they talked about it, I was like, no, it'll be okay. Like, I've seen it. Like, they all do it. They talk about it. They all, like, this is what they do. Like, her grandmother was just beside herself with fear. And Cindy was like, I've seen it. Like, the technology is incredible. And I mean, I've and she could explain it, how some of the processes were going to work. And it was amazing, like, to her interject and just make the whole family feel better about it, including her uncle, <laughs> like, going into the surgery. And he's doing well. He had it last week. He's had the disc removed and replaced, just like she explained. So she could talk about it and like and let everyone feel better about the whole scenario and that was amazing. Spinal surgeons and surgeons like come together here, like but whether it's online or in person to like talk about doing surgery and talk about their methods so that when everyone when someone needs the surgery, they're all prepared, they all know how to do it, they're confident. And they have like the Seattle Foundation Seattle Science Foundation is like a hub for like communication and like learning so that all the surgeons can like to perform on my uncle and he's doing great. <laughs> so that was interesting. Yeah. But I mean, we, she had a great experience and I, you know, as teenagers, you, teenagers are always looking for mentorship, right? Even though they don't know it, but they're looking for people to inspire them and people to kind of push them a little bit. And I think that's what this program did for her. And she really did come out three weeks later, a much more well-rounded, you know, more courageous young person to face new things and so it was a really fantastic experience for her. Also helps us do some gentle retractions. I mean Dr. Pierre was just so inspiring and since he was always there with us he really like grew into like a mentor that I like knew and like trusted and felt comfortable going to. I think these doctors do such incredible things. I was very intimidated by all their work and all their accomplishments because they would come and talk about their lives and all the like surgeries that they've done. So Dr. Pierre came like a very confident mentor for me. Um, also during the conference, Dr. Osguian became really inspirational and I really liked talking to him. And his daughter was also in the internship and it was just like really fun to get to know him and he was really inspiring. Um, and I met a lot of people along the way that were really, really cool. Um, amazing but Dr. Pierre was like that mentor through and through. It was a very intimate group of us. There was eight I believe and we all became very close. We did everything together um, for three weeks so you'd come in at eight in the morning and leave at three and you saw Dr. Pierre and your other seven interns the whole day and we all got along really well. We bounced ideas off of each other as my mom was saying earlier. Everyone was so intelligent and everyone was very mature in having conversations with them, whether it was related to what we were doing in the internship or just the things we talked about at lunch. It was really, really an amazing time and I still contact and I'm in contact with all of them. And I, I think we're thinking about scheduling like a little meetup. Um, it's been a while, but we all wanna see each other. So yeah, it was really great for friendships as well. And they're all sharing where they're going to college and yeah. you know, I'm, this is where I'm going, this is where I'm going. And yeah, yeah so that'd be so fun if they could meet up together before they go to that next level. I think a lot of times people wanna like prepare and know everything about something that they're going into. But from personal experience, I walked in very unknowing kind of came in and was like okay like I'm ready for whatever they throw at me and I would say like it's an amazing amazing experience and you're going to be intimidated because you're going to be around so many like amazing doctors but that's a good thing because that's what pushes you to grow want to do better and you want to hear from them and they all have amazing advice for like personal life but also in like college but also in medicine and they're really inspirational if you like want to go into medicine to find maybe the path that inspires you the most because there's so much you can be in the medical field. Um, and there's just so many amazing opportunities. You're not gonna be bored, you're gonna have so much fun and there are things you're gonna love and there's things you might like less, but it's all so, so amazing. And I'm really grateful that I had this opportunity. And I would say as a parent, you know, I just, it was such a rare opportunity. You know, and even even if you're in a fantastic school with fantastic programs, the opportunity to work with the professionals that are involved in this program, and just everyone that on the ground, you know, including you, just you know, it was just it was a stellar, and I'm so glad we went through that list and just you know took a chance on this one sounds interesting, and um, yeah, it's just amazing, rare opportunity. 
to have that. It was like turning a rock over. It really was. It was like, what about this one? You know, like it speaks to me, you know, kind of a thing. Just super fortunate. We're so fortunate she yeah. was able to do it. I so fortunate it. they open it up to youth. You know what I mean? So it's super, super, and super it, great. It stayed with me, even though it's just three weeks. It's like my mom said, I've read about it for my college, wrote like essays about it. And I think I've learned a lot of life lessons and it really inspired me like going into college. I'll probably be involved in some sort of research um, involved in the medical field if I can get some. So yeah, it's good stuff. It'll keep echoing on, I'm sure, what she learned here.